be joined now by Brian Parker, the director of amateur scouting. Brian, welcome, and it must be a busy week for you. Yeah, it is. We've uh, been up here since last Sunday, and uh, we're just trying to finish up, getting everything ready for Monday night, and uh, you know, get the line, get the board lined up, and and uh, get ready for the uh, for the draft on Monday. This has got to be like Christmas Eve, New Year's, and birthdays all wrapped up in one as your year comes to a head here in the period of the draft. It is. It started uh, last summer for this year's draft. You know, right after this year's draft, we'll bounce right into next year's. Uh, you know, for 2016. So it starts right away, and uh, you know, it's a long process. Our guys uh, do a great job out in the field and all over the country, in Canada and the U.S. And uh, you know, it, it's the culmination of a of a lot of work and a lot of time. Brian, you talked a little bit about the uh, board, and that's so essential to a draft. Talk about how you put that together, and do you stick to the board as the draft is moving along? Yeah, you do. I mean, that's really what it's ultimately about. Um, you line everything up. We have all of our cross checkers, our national and regional guys in town, and you know you, you line things up and you put things in the, in the way you want the player. And you know, especially where we picked this year at 29, you got to line it up and and uh, put it in order. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, by the time it gets to our picks, so we just need to to stick to that. And uh, and as the board plays that's how you are going to pull the names are there certain aspects of a player that you're looking for are you looking for speed or are you looking for power pitchers are there certain types of pitchers that you're looking for on your board yeah I think when it comes to position players you know we target two way guys guys that can play both ways offense and defense I mean you can see it out here at the big league level when you have a guy that can help you offensively and defensively it changes things um, you know for pitchers we're looking for starting pitchers we're looking for athleticism guys that can pitch with their fastball and get outs with their fastball and you know they can project to pitch 200 innings in the big leagues. Brian when I started of course nobody nobody even could spell radar gun. <laughs> 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 so nobody was worried about velocity but how much do you give your scouts leeway to evaluate what a pitcher can do and his ability to make pitches and, and get out of tough situations. You know that's the, that's what that's what we do and that's what the scouts out on the field. They're the ones that are seeing this guy every day day in and day out. You know they're getting the multiple looks and sitting on players and seeing them um, three four five six times during the course of the spring. So they're the ones that uh, have the first hand knowledge and and they're looking at him day in and day out. So. Um, you know, we stick to our philosophy and stick to the things we look for, but it's on all of our guys to uh, to really put it together. Do you have time to stick them out for another half inning? Sure. Well, we appreciate it. So Hutchison 